I am heading right now to an Asian grocery store. I'm truly going above and beyond for this video. I mean, we are not going to hold back one. Put your hand on steering. Hi, hi. Driving so dangerous. Today, we're going to be seeing MasterChef finalist Nick Giovanni make some egg fried rice for Uncle Roger. So this should be interesting. If you are new, my name is James. I have plenty of other recipes on my YouTube channel, not just reaction videos. And I have been cooking for many years in the US, England, France, and Spain. And if you do like this video, then don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And let's get started. The perfect fried rice. I think I know the one and only man that has the power and the knowledge to be able to judge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Uncle Roger. Hi, Yan. Feel Nick. Why you look so sunburned today? Did you go on holiday or something? <laughs> SPF as important as MSG. <laughs> yeah, sunscreen is important, or at least to cover yourself when you're at the beach. You can tell all the tourists because the people that don't get enough sun usually try to get as much as they can when they're on holiday. And here you will see people sunbathing after they already have a sunburn, and, but it doesn't matter. They'll be sunbathing just laying there, you know, out in the sun. Red as a lobster. Not long ago, I made an amazing ramen. And according to Uncle Roger, I hit about four out of the five steps properly, only missing the aroma oil. But aside from potentially missing one of those steps, Uncle Roger had a few other reservations about the video. He said that I should not be spanking anything. I do it too, but Nick really likes to speak with his hands. I mean, like, a lot. No food, no nothing in videos down the road. Don't spank your dinner. Get room and spank your girlfriend. I mean, you can spank me. Because the video, of course. No. What? 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 Maybe spank me. Because the video, of course. No. What kind of weird relationship he has with his Weijo guy? Nephew Nick, don't spank your Weijo guy. Your girlfriend gonna get jealous. Hiya. <laughs> hey, he probably gets paid really well. Who knows? Uncle Roger, I have your very own orange shirt, and I'm gonna make Manny put it on. Put it on, Manny. After what? I saw you spank him and you make him dress up for you. Who you think you are, Hugh Hefner? Is Manny or Playboy Bunny? Hiya. And before I made this recipe, I thought it would be a good idea to reach out and ask Uncle Roger to give nephew Nick a bit of advice. Egg fried rice, so simple. It's three ingredients. Egg. Ugh. Nephew Nick, keep your tongue in mouth. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your tongue. Don't look at me like that. So gross. Hiya. You're not on Love Island. Stop doing this tongue shit. If niece and nephew go to bar and someone look at you like this, don't accept drink from them. That is some very good advice. Nick looking at me like he's looking at piece of meat and you know what he do to them. <laughs> Uncle Roger, I know we can handle that. In fact, we can do you one better. Now, I think we are ready to begin our process. He keep talking with his hand again. <laughs> my groceries, toss a quick like on the video. I promise it's the only thing I will Hit like on my video also. Hit like. Hit like on my videos, bro. <laughs> so stupid. If you like the video, hit like. I am heading right now to an Asian grocery store. I'm truly going above and beyond for this video. I mean, we are not going to hold back one. Put your hand on steering. Hi, hi. Driving so dangerous. You're gonna crash your car. The only thing worse than drunk driving is nobody driving. Yeah. It is a good idea to keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the steering wheel. I see that he's driving a Tesla, so maybe it's on autopilot. I don't know how they work. If anyone does have a Tesla watching, please explain how they work. I'm gonna make you a happy, happy man today. Auntie Helen said that before too. <laughs> okay, we're at the Asian market. Hiya, dirty shit again. MSG, you know we- For you, MSG, good, good. <laughs> and this- oh, What is that? I can tell that he has fun shopping at the grocery store, it's fine. He's so young, but he already got the dad dancing move. When they say white people can't dance, this is what they mean. The whole so big. I know, right? <laughs> the bigger than me. Fried something. Fried rice. Fried rice. Oh you want some? No. I'm back from the grocery store, but like I said, one more thing. It is imperative that you order takeout such that you can end up with takeout rice. Because leftover rice is king. Leftover rice, correct. But make your own rice. Don't just get from takeout. Hiya. Nick is actually going to get takeout rice to make this? He was just at the market. He could have bought some and made it at home. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It takes a couple minutes. That's it. 
Baking fried rice with freshly cooked rice, you might be a serial killer. So last night, I did exactly that. Okay, so it's the evening now, I'm in my car. This angle too right close. Now, we'll <laughs> Nephew Nick, we don't need to see your paw. It is a bit of a close angle, but at least, um, well, it doesn't look like the car is moving, so at least it's a little safer. In addition to having great food, they have something else that always makes me happy. And it may not make much sense, but something in particular that they do makes me feel like they really know what they're doing with their food. And here it is. If you can't tell, I get this place partly because of the bag. I got plenty of rice. This is going to be good. Quite cute. So Nick went to the Asian market to get all the correct ingredients, including to get a walk and he orders takeout rice. And not only does he order takeout rice, but he goes to pick up the takeout. Who knows, maybe Nick was trying to give the restaurant a little bit of business, um, which is good, it's a nice gesture, but to make this simple rice at home, I mean, it just takes a couple minutes. And if you want to make it for fried rice, you can let the rice dry after it cools down a little bit, stick it in the fridge, the rice will dry a little more and you can use it for fried rice. It is. I couldn't possibly have eaten all that rice, but... Wait, are you really using rice from the Chinese <laughs> takeout? Master Chef Final, can't afford rice cooker. So sad. Now we get to make fried rice with leftover rice. Uh, Nick is using some fat. It could be something else, but it looks like it's a little bit of fat. It's good. The way that it should be. Right here are all of our ingredients. First, of course, we have our leftover rice. Then we have some good. green onions, some good. garlic, chili, a little bit of pork fat. Pork fat, nice. For this. You can even use butter if you want. No, then don't use butter. Some soy sauce. A good soy sauce, good. Instead of butter, you can use some vegetable oil as well if you don't have the fat. Waiting, let's get started. Nice chopping. In the very beginning, when I first started filming, I'll tell you, it took me hours, but hours, with the neighbors, with the dog barking, the neighbors slamming the door, the neighbors putting the music on, uh, who knows, the street cleaner outside, you can hear everything in these buildings. There are a lot of interruptions, and having someone else to change the camera for you can help a lot. Every time you handle the products, you have to wash your hands, dry your hands off, move the camera, do it again, make sure it's the right angle, and you go back and go, oh no, <laughs> the cat is too low, too high, it's out of focus. Having a cameraman helps greatly. Wasting egg, hi, uh, nephew Nick. I know you think showing slow motion of egg is cool, but no need to do that. We all know what egg look like. <laughs> so we prepped all our ingredients. It's time to get cooking. Don't yes. do that. That walk not gong. In Hotel Arts, we used to have one cook that used to take a gastro, which is a big pan, and he used to walk up behind whoever was new in the kitchen at the time prepping, and he used to take it and throw it down on the ground as hard as he could. And of course, you know, scare the you know what out of them. They would jump with the knife in their hand as well. They'd be jumping and screaming, and you'd get a laugh out of it. I understand that this right here might be the biggest walk you've ever seen, and I could make a lot of fried rice with it. But I find that it's much more fun to have a big walk shaped like this to be able to toss and enjoy what you're cooking. But hold on, I told you there would be a twist. I'm Persian, and one of my twist. favorite things to make from Persian cuisine is called tari, which is a crispy rice. Interesting. With fried rice, I like to make some crispy bits throughout. Uh, so Nick's half Italian. I'm gonna start crispy with crispy rice. In Interesting pan. texture nice for egg fried rice. Nice even coat of our rice. And now we're back to the walk. Fuyo, nice fire. <laughs> I'd like to know why Nick decided to light the wok on fire after he made the fried rice. Because he still has bits of fried rice in the wok. For the camera, for show. Wait, what? Put Uncle Roger in wok. Nephew Nick, you're welcome to toss Uncle Roger anytime. Sorry, children. <laughs> Also, also, Uncle Roger surprised why the fire alarm not going off? I probably took the batteries out. Funny thing though, I haven't seen a fire alarm in years. I'm not saying that we don't have them here in Spain. I've been in a lot of apartments though, and if you look at this apartment, it doesn't have any fire alarms. But if you think about it, a lot of people live in one building if they live in apartments. And all it takes is one little fire, and then that's it. Start, we'll go heat on, and an entire bag of Wait, MSG. This is a whole bag? Really way to just pack your fried rice no, with flavor. No, no. Just kidding. Start, we're gonna seat oh. our entire wok with some pork fat. Don't OD on MSG. We really just wanna move this around and let it coat the entire wok. What we're doing right now is called seasoning our pan. And it's good. super important, especially if you're using a pan made out of a material like this. Yeah, it is a good idea to season your wok, especially a new one, because he just bought this. They have that factory smell to them. You need to get rid of it. Next, I'm gonna go into a bowl with three 
but after you season you need to throw out old oil and use new cold oil hopefully you do that egg yolks and two additional eggs those of you watching better master the one-handed egg crack now we'll whisk these very impressive eggs, making sure that they're nice and fully combined the additional egg yolks will provide chopstick to stir egg not bad but also more fat and who doesn't love fat i'm also going to season as i go hitting it with just a little bit of white pepper nice into our wok we go just watch as that beautiful egg puffs up. My goal now is going to be to keep it nice and fluffy while also breaking it. The texture up. looks good. Nick is doing good so far, but the technique that we saw with Chef Wong by separating the egg whites and the yolks and cooking them separately, that's a very nice technique. Nice and fluffy, correct? Now that the egg is all set, I'm going to go in with some chili or pepper, whatever you have, and then a nice bit of my minced garlic. Now we'll mix it mm. around and let it get nice and aromatic. I choose to put the garlic and chili in after the egg so that it doesn't burn immediately. But Uncle Roger usually put garlic as first thing because garlic take a while to become fragrant. Nick is right about being a little careful with the garlic. It's easy to burn it. If you know how to make it though, it's fine. But if you don't pay attention, then as we've seen in past videos, you can burn the you know what out of it. I think it only gonna burn because nephew Nick forgot to change to coal oil high. Yeah. At this point, it's time to add in our beautiful leftover fluffy white rice. Rice look good. Like Gold tank, the Chinese take out for me, but at least he's not using packet rice. So still better than Jamie <laughs> Oliver. By the way, niece and nephew, did you know Jamie Oliver used to have restaurant? It called 15 because that how many people like his food. This is one of the older videos, but we do see that Uncle Roger loves to roast Jamie. Still does. And we finally reached the point for our MSG, and we're gonna be generous with it. Let the nice, nice all the rice, and then yeah, that whole fiasco with Salt Bay not that long ago after Argentina had won. If any of you guys have eaten at his restaurant, then let me know down below what was the experience like, the food, the quality, etc. It's time for a little bit of soy sauce. And nice soy sauce. Soy sauce you should pour on side, let it sizzle mm. on the side of the wok then slowly roll down to the rice. But it okay, this fried rice still look good, you got the sauce and it's spicy. Got the sauce and it's spicy. Uncle Roger has seen a lot of cooking videos, he's starting to remember the steps on how to make it properly, it's good. A little bit of soy sauce, a nice handful of green onion because I love green onion, and a pinch of white pepper to season it all up. And right here is where you can normally finish up that fried rice. Fuyo, look at that tossing. And look at that muscle. Look at that muscle here. Nephew Nick, I thought you have girlfriend, but this arm muscle look like arm of single man. Since Auntie Helen left Uncle Roger, four arm muscle also get so strong, but only this one hand. And just like that, our fried rice is perfect, but not without just mm. a bit of tadi, aka crispy rice. Crispy so rice go in. Pick up this this interesting. Here. Uncle Roger awesome. never see this before. Crisp on the bottom. Listen. My suggestion would be why not to add the crispy rice at the beginning. I know you want to have like larger pieces of crispy rice and it, they will break down as you toss the rice and everything because now you're going to have bits of rice that are not fully mixed in with all the other ingredients that he added. I'm going to add this into our fried rice, essentially just gently folding it in to leave some of those big crispy parts intact. But, but your crispy rice, no seasoning, mm. no flavor. So you will mix it with the seasoned fried rice. So with every bite, half the bite have flavor, half the bite no flavor. That's gonna be a bit weird. The crispy rice does have some flavor. It was also cooked in pig fat. So it does have a little bit of flavor and seasoning with it. So yeah, you do have little bits that are going to be a little more flavored than others, I say. As I loosely break that up and put in our crispy rice, my fried rice is ready to serve. Also, don't freak out. This is not non-stick pan. You can use metal utensil on it. And if you've got those crazy skills, you can flick it right back up onto the spoon. Fui <laughs> yo! Right nice skill. <laughs> Good rice. And quite honestly, I'm not even gonna try to make it pretty. I'm just gonna pile it on the way that it's meant to be served. And Correct. Simple, no need pity. Just taste good is enough a few more green onions for that color and in my humble opinion this right here is the perfect fried rice uncle roger today i hope nephew nick has made you very proud i'm sorry you can't be here to taste it but here we go i think he's gonna say it tastes delicious because everyone says the same thing <laughs> like literally nobody will ever say the taste and go mm, oh no that's not good no <laughs> i should do that again that is really really good uncle roger gonna deliver my wording 
in the style of nephew Nick. Nephew Nick, <laughs> Uncle Roger, so proud of you. You make fried rice, it looks so good. But I cannot give you the uncle title because you didn't make the rice yourself. Hiya. Overall, Nick did a good job. Of course, we can't taste it. This is, you know, the final thing. It does look a little on the drier side as well. So he, he didn't add too much liquid to the pan. In any case, guys, if you have tried his recipe, then let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to stick around for this next video coming up, which is right here. And I will see you guys again very soon. Until next time, take care.